Hi, my name is Autumn Whitaker. I'm the owner of Automakers Mini Pet Pigs in Minerva, Ohio. I have had pet pigs for since 2004. And uh, today what I try to do is I really try to educate pig families and support them so that they can be successful with their pet pig. Today, we're going to talk about litter box training. This is a two-part series. This is the first part, litter box training. Next week, I'm going to do a video, which will be part two on transitioning from a litter box to going outside. So let's get started. A piglet's bladder is immature and it doesn't mature and it can vary from pig to pig. I would say six months at the absolute soonest too close to a year before a pig's bladder is completely mature. They're able to hold it. They're able to understand where you want them to go, where they want to go. And then more towards that age, we're able to transition outside. When we first bring our piglet home, or if we have a young pig, we want to offer them the opportunity to go potty in a litter box, because this is going to make it so that they don't have as many accidents. Um, it's important that we provide that for them and that they understand where you want them to go. So we're going to talk about how to be successful in that. But first of all, let's talk about instincts. A pig's instinct is to go potty Oh, as far away from their bedding, sleeping, nest area, and their eating area as possible. They like to go um, kind of tucked away and under things. So under beds, under couches, under chairs in the dining room, very common places where pigs have accidents. Um, in the corners, against the walls. So all of these places are places that we want to keep our piglet away from until we know that they're potty trained and they know how to get back to that litter box. Now, when it comes to litter box training, in order to set them up for success, we want to put them in the places, the litter boxes in the places where a pig naturally wants to go potty. We don't want to fight those instincts. We want to roll with them and we kind of want to capitalize on those instincts. So for us, when piglets are born, the first thing we do is we put the litter box directly outside the whelping box. For the first week, they go in the whelping box because they can't hop out yet. And where do they go? They go against the walls all the way around, usually as far away from the heat lamp as possible, but it just depends. Um, so they're going to go there. Now, after a week old, then they start hopping out of the litter. They start hopping out of the whelping box. So what we do is we put the litter box directly outside the whelping box. When they hop out, they're hopping right into the litter box. They can sniff it. And their brain understands where, what this is for. This is to go potty. And remember that pigs always follow their nose when it comes to where they go potty, unless they absolutely cannot hold it and then they're just going to go anywhere. So again, for us, we capitalize on that fact. Did you know that mother pigs potty train their piglets? They do because piglets are smart enough to know where mommy goes is where I need to go. So they, again, they follow their nose. Their nose tells their brain where they should go. So by us having these litter boxes put right there, then it gives them the opportunity to understand what that box is for. Now, week two, are, are we take out the whelping box and the piglets are just in a um, 10 by 12 area with their mother. And what we do is we put litter boxes in three of the corners. The heat lamp and their bed is in one corner. The litter boxes are in the other three corners. And sometimes if they're going potty against the wall, then we'll line the whole wall and um, two, we'll line two walls completely solid with litter boxes, because then what that does is it helps them to be more successful. They're much less likely to have any accidents because they've got all this space to go potty and they know where to go. Again, our litter boxes, even though our mother pigs don't go potty in the house, our litter boxes are used from past litters. There's no way we're scrubbing that scent off, even though we clean them really well they can still smell it because their sense of smell is like their superpower. They can smell. It's just amazing how strong that sense of smell is. So that's really good for us because then we don't have to 
let the mother's litter box train them because the mothers go outside, which is awesome because then we don't have to clean that up. So we always try to capitalize on instinct when possible. We, we don't want to change their instincts. We want to use those to our advantage. So now that we know where to put the litter boxes, then we need to talk about what are we going to use for a litter box? So what are some litter box options? We use do more rabbit pans. And as far as I know, I mean, our tractor supply has two sizes. They have a square size, which is probably like a two by two. And then they have a rectangle size, which is probably, I don't know. I don't know how big it is, maybe close to three by two, maybe. So they're a nice size. We don't have to have a million of them. Um, we have three fit exactly right on all of our walls in our piglet area. So that's what we use. And the reason that I like them is because the bottom is textured. It's not slippery. So even when it's wet, the piglets don't slip around in them. Um, Another reason I like them is because they are kind of on the big side. I don't have to carry out 50 little cat litter boxes. They're much easier for us. Another reason I like them is because they're large and even our adult pigs, um, sometimes our females when they are um, in labor or they're farrowing, then they can use those litter boxes if they can't hold it. Because sometimes if you're a woman, you understand, sometimes you can't hold it and even though we take them in and out several times a day, it's always there for them if they need it. So I don't have to buy different litter boxes for piglets and pigs. So if you have one pig, then the litter box, these rabbit pans by do more, they're specifically do more rabbit pans. I've seen other rabbit pans that do not have a textured bottom that are sold on Amazon. I do not like those ones as much because they get slippery. So I'm able to use all the same litter boxes. It doesn't matter. I don't have to buy separate ones. So if you have one pig, then one, I would say like the rectangle size, the larger size, if you bought that, then you would never have to buy another litter box. You would always be able to use the same one. Other options. You can absolutely use small kitty litter boxes while your pig is little, but they're going to quickly outgrow that. I'm not opposed to them. We have a couple that we use that have, um, they have like a grate in the top that comes out. And then underneath you can put the, um, you can put any litter that you want to put under there to soak up any urine, just makes cleanup a little easier. Um, we use those sometimes they're not my favorite and the piglets are smart and they know how to take that grate off the top and they get in and they rip up any of the litter that's underneath. So they're not my favorite. I will use them at times, but, but only when absolutely necessary. Um, you can, a lot of people use a, um, what are they called? Like a wrapping paper tote. They use that for their pig again, because it is a nice size and the pig can get in it. And then the urine is contained. It is not, um, <laughs> it's not massive. It's going to be, it's not going to leak all that stuff. Um, also many people use a kiddie pool and a lot of times what they'll do is they'll cut out, um, the front of it so that the pig doesn't have to hop in. They can just walk right in. And then in the back, they might use their litter, um, for the pig to go potty. I, that doesn't appeal to me. I know many people who do it and it works very well for them and more power to you. If that's what you want to do, I don't really care for it because for me, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to clean that out. That's a huge job to carry outside. And then because it does have the cutout, I'm afraid that it's going to leak. If I tip it, it's going to leak. I don't want to get that on the floor. So, you know, that's always an option. If your pig is solely indoors and you don't ever let them outdoors, which I don't think is good. Pigs need to have time outside. Um, and going potty is just a great time to be able to have that time outside. So, but everybody's different and you have to do what works best for you and your pig. If that works well for you, then by all means do it. I'm just sharing today what works best for me. Now, when it comes to litter options, um, there are a couple options. So let's go over what they are. So first of all, 
you have washable pee pads. Many people use them for their dogs. Uh, I use them for a while. The the con of them would be that they are expensive. Um, my pigs rip them up. They somebody's always ripping them up. Um, also another thing, the mothers, a lot of times will drag them to their bed and they're soaked and they're nasty and they drag them over and they put them in their bed and then all the piglets would sleep on them and then they would all stink. And so I stopped using those real quick. Um, I also tried disposable pee pads. A lot of people use those for their dog as well. I did not like them because the pigs rip them up and then they chew on them and they try to eat them. And I'm so afraid it's going to cause a blockage. So I do not use disposable pee pads. Um, I will use them in the, the litter box that has like a grate on the top. I'll put them underneath, but I watch them very closely to make sure that they do not get that grate open. Another option would be, um, there is a litter that you can buy. Now, remember, kitty litter that's clumping is always a no. You cannot use that with a pig. Pigs eat everything. They taste everything. They're going to eat the litter. Um, it, depending on how much they eat, it can cause a blockage. It is horrible for pigs. Plus, they have a lot of toxic chemicals on them, so you can inevitably poison your pig. Do not use kitty litter that is clumping. Okay, nothing like that. What you can use is there is some litter that is recycled newspaper pellets. So it would be, um, I know of two, one of one that I've used is called yesterday's news and it's, it's fine. The piglets do chew on it. It won't hurt them. It's just recycled newspaper. But the reason that I don't care for it is because the piglets get in it. They play in it. They root it. And then it goes out over. I bought one bag of that stuff and I never bought another bag because it created such a huge, massive mess that I did not want to have to deal with that anymore. So I did not buy anymore. And so I don't care for it, but many people use it and it works great for their pig. It's definitely something that you can use. And especially if you would just have one pig, um, I didn't find the need to constantly change it because it absorbed the smell. All I did was just kind of pick up the poop with some toilet paper and flush it. And then um, I only had to change it every couple of days. And that's with a litter of piglets. Another option would be um, the horse equine pellets um, for, that are bedding. Uh, they're fine. You can use them again. I'm not a fan just because of the way that pigs root on them. And then they make such a mess. I was constantly cleaning up that mess and I did not enjoy that. What else? Some people might use sand. Some people might use um, wood pellets or, you know, wood chips or sawdust or something like that. I'm not a fan of those things because of the fact that the pigs just make such a huge mess. Um, in our litter boxes, I actually don't use any litter. Because the do more rabbit pans are textured on the bottom and they're not slippery, then when my piglets go potty in them, they normally stand right up against the wall. They all go and there's plenty in there. There's plenty of space um, to so that they don't have to stand in their own yuck um, because they don't like to do that. Then what we do every morning is we carry them out the back door dump them in the weeds, spray them off with a hose and bring them back in. And it works great for us. Um, also, if, if it's really cold outside or something, I could also easily wipe them out with a paper towel and some spray, some non-toxic spray. Of course, you do not want to use any like heavy cleaning, um, you know, like 409 or Clorox or anything like that. You don't want to use that with your pigs, your piglets. Um, they're going to eat it. They're going to taste it and it's going to make them sick. So you use the litter option that works best for you. All right. So when it comes to accidents, inevitably there will be accidents, especially if you're bringing home a new piglet, because your litter box is probably clean. 
Um, they're not understanding what it is. They're probably going to pee on their blankets. Don't spend a lot of money on bedding or blankets when a piglet is young, because inevitably they're going to go to the bathroom on them. Or if they don't potty on them, they're going to root them until they go into the litter box and then they're nasty. So don't spend a lot of money on those things. I know that's a temptation in the beginning, but don't spend a lot of money. Go to Goodwill, get blankets for two and three dollars. And then when the piglets (laughs) when they go to the bathroom on them and you have to wash them 50 times when they rip them up, whatever they do, it's not really going to matter because they cost you $3. Also a little tip when you buy blankets, get a wide variety of colors and textures and all different things, because this keeps your piglet um, open to change when it comes to those things. All right. So let's talk about a few things. Um, two tips here in order to successfully litter box train your pig. So number one, the first thing that you want to do is when you bring your piglet home, you want to make sure that they have their own small area. And the reason for that is you want it to be just small enough for a litter box, a bed, and just a little bit of space, like four by six, very small. Even if you're bringing home a new pig, having a small space for them is ideal because number one, it's going to teach them. It's only going to give them one option of a place to go potty. And that's in the litter box. If they have an accident, wipe it up, scrape it in the bottom of that litter box so that they understand what that's for. They will communicate with their brain so that they understand that. And then what it does is that every time they go to that litter box, it's constantly reinforcing where you want them to go. Okay. And then as time goes, you want to leave them in there for quite some time. Um, not months, but a week, two weeks until you really see that they got it right. They're in bed. They jump up from their bed. They run to their litter box. They go potty. They run back to their bed. That is amazing. Huge. Pigs are so smart. So when you, when you are start to see that, then what you can start to do is you can slowly, slowly start to open up their space. I'm talking by a foot at a time. So first we're in the four by six space. They've been in it for a month. We bring them out to hold them and to cuddle with them and go for walks outside and maybe bring them in the kitchen while we're, we're cooking or whatever. We're playing with the kids somewhere. We have them with us. We bring their litter box so that they always know where it is. But when we decide that we would like to give our pig free roam of our house, it's best to open up space little bits at a time, like a foot at a time. Because if you do that, then think about it. You come in your house, you walk through it once and you're like, okay, you have a floor plan in your head, right? You know where everything is. But your pig is coming in blind. They have no idea what the floor plan is in your house, even if your house is small or maybe your house is huge. Your pig is not going to know how to get back to that litter box. So by opening up space, just little bits of space at a time, then what you're doing is you're giving them a floor plan and you're also just giving them enough space to where they can physically get back to the litter box without having an accident. So until you, I would never give my pig free roam of a house until they were potty trained to go outside. And even then I would probably wait six months. So I'm talking a year and a half before I would ever give, feel comfortable giving my pig free roam of my house. So slowly opening it up allows them to build that floor plan in their head and it allows their bladder to mature as it does slowly so that they can always get back to the litter box. Because you think about it, Pigs are very low to the ground and they do not have good eyesight. Their eyesight is not great. So they're not going to be able to see their way. They're low to the ground. All these things are bigger than them. Plus they really can't see that well to begin with. So this enables them to build that floor plan in their mind and get back. It just imprints it. It it's constantly reinforcing it and it makes it so that they do not have as many accidents. I will say this as well. Um, There is something about pig's feet hitting carpet and rugs and they, it's like the instinctually think it's grass and they will pee there. So if you have expensive rugs and you have a new piglet, can you pick it up for a couple months? 
just a couple months. You don't want to get any pee spots on it. If you have rooms with carpeting, I would keep your pig out of there until you can trust them. I'm telling you it's going to happen and you're going to be mad <laughs> and you're going to, once a pig pees in a spot again, right? They follow their nose. So if they're sniffing around and they smell it again, they're going to think that that's where you go. So just start right off the bat by not letting them in those areas where you have rugs and carpeting or pick up the rugs, because in this way, you're going to save yourself and your pig a lot of confusion and a lot of frustration. Now, when we're talking about areas for a pig, what, what kind of area could it be? Um, something like a four by six play yard, but it's going to have to be reinforced. You can't just stick a plastic play yard and think your pig's going to stay in it. It's going to take two days and they're going to be, a, you're going to come home. They're not going to be in there. You're going to find them somewhere else in the house. Um, I like to use an extra large size dog wire dog crate. Um, they're inescapable. Just make sure the door is shut and latched and a litter box, a square do more rabbit pan fits in them. So it's really nice when you can't be watching them, then that's where they can be. Um, also a lot of people use like a very small bedroom or a small closet, or I guess a bigger closet, um, a laundry room. You just have to be careful that they're not going to be able to get any detergent or anything like that. If they are in a laundry room, you just want the area to be small enough that they only have one option to go potty. That's the key. And number two, I actually already said it. If, if, and when they have accidents, clean it up with a paper towel and wipe it in their litter box. If they're just not getting it, this is a game changer. It really does help a lot. All right. Now just a little bonus here. I get so many calls from people from all over the world saying my pig is peeing all over my house. What do I do? How do I stop them? I don't understand why this is happening. So in my experience, it happens for two reasons. Number one, we talked about giving small amount of space. And the first reason is that your pig is having accidents is because they have too much space. They can't get back to the litter box. They don't understand to get back to the litter box or they're just too plain, plain, too lazy. They just don't want to go back to the litter box. So you need to whoop, take, whoops, take that space away from them so that they only have one option. And then again, slowly open it up. The second reason why pigs are peeing all over the house is because you're giving them way too much water. Imagine if you drank a gallon of water in a day, how many times would you be going to the bathroom that day? 20, <laughs> a lot. And so it's the same with a pig when they don't need gallons and gallons of water. Yes, they need water, but they don't need gallons of water and pigs drink for all different reasons. They drink because they're thirsty. They drink because they're hungry. They drink because they're bored. They drink because they just like the, the feeling of putting food or water, food in their mouth and swallowing because it just gives them satisfaction. Some just like to play in the water. So if your pig is, if you're leaving water down for them all the time and they're drinking gallons and gallons, they're drinking too much water. So you can safely pick that water up, offer them water a couple times a day, let them drink whatever they want. And then when they walk away from the water, pick it back up and offer it again in a couple hours. By doing this, you are going to save yourself so much craziness and frustration and anger at your pig. People actually get rid of their pig because of them having so many accidents when they don't realize that if they just change these two things, then they will stop having accidents. Like I mentioned, next week, I'm going to talk about um, transitioning to going potty outside. Um, it's very easy to do, and pigs are so smart. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are too. I will see you back here next week. And in the meantime, if you need help with your pig, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. This is what I love to do. I love to help people with their, their pigs so that they can have a good pet pig experience and not a crazy one. So feel free to email me. Uh, my email address will be below, but it's also autumnacresminipetpigs at gmail.com. And uh, I thank you for being here and I'll see you next week.